This video is sponsored by PageProof. Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Creative Pro. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to extract embedded images from your InDesign document. Here's an example of an InDesign document with multiple embedded images that I'd like to extract and save to the same folder all at once. First, if you received a document from someone else and it has embedded images, or if you'll be moving this document around and want to keep the images with it, you may be wondering how to embed images. So first, you would place one. Go to File, Place, navigate to the image, and place. Then in the Links panel, Window, Links, go to the Panel menu, the hamburger menu in the upper right, or right-click on the image in the Links panel and select Embed Link. When it's embedded, you'll see an image icon appear in the Status column. If you wanted that image to no longer be embedded, you would go back to the Links panel menu, or right-click on the image name in the Links panel, and select Unembed Link. When you select this option, a dialog appears telling you that unembedding can either link to the original file or create a new folder with the image and link to it. It asks if you'd like to link to that original image. Answering yes links it back to the original. Answering no lets you select a folder where you can save the image that was embedded. If we right click on the image and select Reveal in Finder or Reveal in Explorer on Windows, then we can see it in the folder with the name of the file that was in the links panel. That's how to embed an image in unembed an image. So what do you do if you have a document with a lot of images and want to unembed them? It's a very similar process. The only difference would be that when you go to the links panel, you would shift select the images, which could include specific images or all of them, and then either go to the panel menu or right click on the image name in the panel and select unembed link. After unembedding the images, if you notice that some images weren't included in your folder, there may be a different situation to address. Click on an image that you know appeared in the folder. You'll see it get highlighted in the links panel. Now try an image that didn't make it to the folder. If you click on it and don't see it highlighted in the links panel, try checking your layers panel. You probably have a pasted graphic. You can still extract this image, but it's not as straightforward of a process. Pasting images in your document isn't a great practice, so if that's your workflow, you might consider either going to File Place or even dragging and dropping from the Finder or Explorer on Windows. Both of those approaches preserve the link to the original file. When you copy an image from somewhere and paste it into your document, the information about that image is coming from your clipboard. InDesign won't know where to link it. And resolution might be an issue depending on the size of the image that was originally copied and pasted. There are a few different ways to extract a pasted image. If you don't have many of these images, you can copy it from your InDesign layout, paste it into a new Photoshop document, and save that file. It's saved now, but it's not linked to the one in your document. Because it's not linked, you won't be able to use the Links panel menu to relink it. What you can do is select the images frame in the layout. Go to File, Place, and navigate to the image. What if you have a lot of these pasted graphics in your document that you want to extract? You can create a PDF to help. Let's go to File, Export to export a PDF. Now let's open the PDF in Acrobat. Under All Tools, select Export a PDF. I know, it sounds weird because we just exported a PDF, but check out the options. We can use Export PDF to select Image Format, which gives us format options to choose for the images. Let's choose JPEG, and then select Export All Images. Let's click on the gear to see the settings. Notice that if an image is already a JPEG, this export won't compress it again in order to avoid creating artifacts. We can adjust the file settings, the color management, and the resolution. And you can exclude small images. When we're ready to convert, click Convert to JPEG. When we go to the folder, you can see all the images have been exported. Just like the other extracted pasted image in the layout, these exported images are not linked to the InDesign document. You would need to go back to the file and place them. I'm Myra Ferguson, and I hope these tips help you extract embedded images from your InDesign document. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.